Hello, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time you might have noticed the green screen. I decided not to put it down just yet, and I was filming something, so you're just gonna have to deal with it. But uh, yeah, we're gonna talk about this figure right here, which is the Transformers Retro Reissue Bombshell. So if you haven't noticed, with all the recent reissues, they've been trying to go for the more cartoon deco with the Optimus Prime, the other two Insecticons, the Seekers, Hot Rod, etc., and so they're doing this in the same vein, even though this isn't tagged with the Transformers the movie like the earlier reissues, it's still in the same kind of setup. It's still continuing that line, but more so for the 40th anniversary of Transformers as a whole. So because we have Kickback and Shrapnel from the previous line, we're going to get Bombshell now. And what's different about Bombshell is that he's going to include another cassette. This is going to be the Ramhorn cassette for the Blaster. Now you're probably wondering, why is he going to come with the Ramhorn? Is there any character significance to that? And it's mostly just to issue more cassettes out there. I think that the two packs they issued a while back didn't really do so well. I, I heard they're very expensive. So I think having them packed in, it's, it's not as big of a blow. And I don't mind, it's an inclusion to Blaster. So if you want more cassettes, there you go. And I believe this is going to be a new deco because none of these figures use stickers. You can see that on the top of the bombshell. You can see a printed Decepticon logo. And some people might be thrown off by the gray because traditionally he's a purple Insecticon. And the reason why they're doing that is because in the cartoon, in the animation, especially for the bug mode, he was gray in the torso, not purple. I believe that in scenes with the robot mode, it's purple, but in bug mode, it's gray. It's kind of weird, but uh, yeah, I, I definitely love the beetle form. It's very simple, but I think the colors work for it, especially with the yellow and gray. I like the silver little beak, nose, whatever you want to call it. And I think Ramhorn's cassette mode looks fantastic. Take a look at the robot mode. So I want to clarify a couple of things. If you look at the packaging, you will see that Bombshell does have his laser piece, which is very similar to that horn. So it is included with the set. It's just not in the stock image. And it seems like it will also carry the six Energon cubes, much like the Kickback and Shrapnel originally did. But again, it continues the Cartoon Deco, and it's still that G1 toy. You could see the hollow legs. That's something from the original G1 toy. And I think it looks fantastic. I like how chunky it is. I like how the head kind of tucks in there. And I think Ramhorn is a nice inclusion, especially if you want something to kind of duke it out with Bombshell. I guess Ramhorn definitely works with that. I believe we're also supposed to get a Perceptor down the road. And if I'm not mistaken, he's supposed to come out with a couple of cassettes. I don't know if that's part of the Generations line or if that's a retro figure, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. But uh, yeah, I don't mind these including cassettes. I think Blaster definitely needs it because I think he only had one in his initial release, so having more, you know, that's totally fine. But, uh, yeah, I really want to get this bombshell. I haven't gotten this G1 figure. I don't have a G1 Shrapnel. The only one I have is Kickback from the Retro line. So, with that out of the way, what do you guys think? Please comment below, let me know. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun doodads, and I'll see you guys next time. All Spark TV. Now that's just Prime.